Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Jason Stitch. I'm joined by Jessica Narod. Third period of action, ball gags versus the Funks. We had a temporary blackout at that end of the, uh, the ice, which I did not catch on camera. But the light is back on, so this will not be a Super Bowl type situation from, from two seasons ago. Yeah, for like a half hour. Oh my god. Yeah. Attempted centering pass by the Funks does not connect. Keith Ingram will try to retrieve in the corner. He does. Keith gets it by Heather. He will retrieve the puck himself. Tries to pull the trigger. Does not do or the puck does not get to the net. Good job there by Lindsay. Oh yeah. She ends up with the puck and Almost. She, she pokes it to the net. Dana forced to uh, make a plan. It, that is dumped by the ball gags. No icing here. 30 seconds. 30 seconds on the penalty from last period of the ball gags. So the Funk's still on the power play. They're looking to score here to tie the game up. It is currently 3-2 in favor of the ball gags, but the Funks have about another 25 seconds now for explanation to get on the board again. Absolutely. Keith Ingram tried, tried to put it in between uh, Heather's feet, but could not do so. Tom will stop the puck for his team and play it into the neutral zone. It is full strength now, so the Funks not able to get a power play goal there. But they still have plenty of time to tie it up. Centering pass. Heather with an attempted shot, but it went wide of the net. Kept in by the ball gags. Another pass to Heather, but that too does not connect. Lindsay to Molly. No, it's poked away. Shot and a save by Tom. It goes high in the sky. Tom is back in the net. Another pass to the point. Point was wide open there. Tom does touch it and deflects it wide of the net. Molly plays it up to Keith. Keith with a nice move, but it goes to Dana, who's able to make a planet, but he hit it in a Keith's shoulder. But Keith is not able to get a good enough shot on there. He's able to play it up, but it will go for icing. No penalty because they're only up by one, but it will still go all the way back in the zone for face off. Face off will occur shortly. Brian Kelly wearing his Google Glass lookalikes. It's not actually Google Glass, it's protective glasses for his eyes because he just had LASIK surgery or PRK surgery or whatever the better of the two is, I guess, to correct your vision. And because he does not want to lose an eyeball, he is wearing those glasses. Kept in by Star Princess. He will attempt to take a shot. Instead, he's forced to dump it. Goes to Mar, Mar to Lindsay. But it is out now. And the ball gags are on the rush. Joel's stick is tied up by Rob, but not enough for a penalty. Joel will continue to advance it. Shot just high of the crossbar. Tom will allow Lindsay to take it. Lindsay's not able to get it by Joel, however. And Joel, the puck is stolen from him. It's out back in the neutral zone. Star Princess taking the puck up. Oh, he was able, he tried to make a play around uh, the defender. It trickled back to him. I don't think he intended to put a shot on that, but it did go that way, but Dana was able to cover it up. Play will resume shortly, once Ryan drops the face off. And there we go. One by the ball gags that time. And the Funk not able to keep it in, so Molly will have to retrieve it. Play it up to Tom. The middle, which is kind of risky, but it worked out. Yep, absolutely. Funk's playing up to Nick Mosier. Nick Mosier makes a move around Heather, but Heather, on the second effort, is able to hit it out of the zone. Good job by her. Dumped deep by the Funks. Their bench telling them to slow it down. 
Funks are giving them a lot of space, so why not? It is out of the zone, so the Funks have to touch up. They do. Nick Mosier now. Backhand pass to nobody except the ball gags player. Pass to Sari. She will dump it. And the Funks have a chance again. It goes to Mara. She's able to keep it in, but only briefly. It's now out. And Greg, who already has a goal, chooses to dump it. But it was blocked. Keith Ingram now with the chance. Shot. Oh, off the post. Almost in the net for a hat trick, but the post saved Dana there. Mosier unable to keep it in. And play it up now. A little battle there between both players, but nothing crossed in penalty territory. Intercepted by Keith. Keith against Terry. And against Heather. Shot saved by Dana with the pads. He didn't even have to move there. Outstanding positioning by Dana. Goes to Star Princess. He will clear it up. Heather. Hits along the boards. Keith is not able to get a buyer. And so we'll go back to Mosier. Molly with a great play there. It goes back to Nick Mosier. Mara hoping to hit in the zone to Keith. She does. Another shot by Keith, but it goes wide of the net. Stolen from Nick and advanced by the ball gags. Good job by Dan Keller, a.k.a. Star Princess, for rushing back and getting the puck before the defender could or before the rushing forward could. Josh will advance the puck now. Shot! Does not go on net. Another shot attempt, but that one didn't get there either. Rob Riker to advance the puck for the Funkmasters. He'll pass to the Keith. Keith back to Rob, but it's intercepted. And out of the zone, Molly chooses to play it along the boards, allowing the Funks to touch up. Josh choosing to give Molly enough space, or Lindsay enough space there to advance the puck in the zone. It works out for them though, because the ball gags are able to hit the puck the other way. Good work there by Molly and using her body to box the, the man out. Keith Ingram with the chance, shot. Another save by Dana, shot again by Lindsay that time, but it was wide of the net. Keith Ingram now trying to look for a pass. No, he chooses to take a shot. It bounces off of Dana's chest, off his helmet, and then back into his glove, where he is able to cover it up. fantastic game. Absolutely. Dana has made several key saves to keep his to keep his team ahead. Shots. Yeah, Sud's telling us that shots are 5-4 right now in favor of Funk, but yeah, it does feel like a lot more. Several of Funk's shots, though, have gone wide, so that does explain the disparity. Josh is able to hit it out of the zone. Ball gags nursing a one-goal lead here. They're choosing to play it safe. Josh with a good move there to hit it back out of the zone and break up the Funk's rush. Josh takes the spill there, no penalty, incidental contact, a shot, and another goal by Keith Ingram. And that'll be the hat trick. Keith Ingram will be cited for unsportsmanlike conduct. So, so, in case you folks are wondering what just happened there, Keith, Keith and Josh battling there. Josh took a spill, wasn't tripped up by Keith. It was just the, the body in between the boards there. Incidental contact was the ruling by the refs, and then Keith was able to come away with the puck and score the goal. Afterward, Keith kind of... Yeah, Keith, mm -hmm. Keith uh, then pointed to Josh, and he was then cited for sportsmanlike conduct for taunting, so... Both players play passionately. Both players have emotion, and you saw it there, but Keith, the one cited for the penalty. It is a tie game right now, three to three, thanks to Keith Ingram's hat trick. Neil Mosier will take a spill, but again, incidental contact, no tripping penalty. And Rob will dump it 
Dana will cover it up and he will play it out. Six minutes. Played up by the ball gags. They are hoping to regain the lead with this power play opportunity, but we'll see how it goes. Goes to Josh. He's offside. And the ball gags are offside. Josh took a shot though. Didn't realize his man, his teammate was uh, was over the line. So, so it will go all the way back. Why is it going? Oh, because he took a shot. Took a shot on net. So, folks, yeah. there is no more intentional offsides in the DCHL except for when you take a shot on net. If you take a shot on net when uh, you are offsides, it will, nine times out of ten anyway, come all the way back into your zone. So that's what happened there. Ball gags win the faceoff. They will choose to play behind their own net. Oh, oh good play there, Rob. Like playing it with a high stick, but. The ref's allowing play to continue. Rob Riker with the puck. Tried a centering pass to the net. It actually went off of uh, the ball gag's female's foot to Dana, and he was forced to cover it up. 30 seconds on the power play for the Funks, or for the ball gags, rather. And I think uh, Josh is upset that it wasn't a high stick call. I'm actually surprised myself. Yeah, but ref salon play to continue, and their ruling is final. Five seconds trickling down on the on the PK. Yep, and the Funks are full, so they were able to kill off that penalty. There it goes back to Keith Ingram. Keith battling against Siri. So he tried to make a play on it, but Mara was there first, and she's able to dump it deep. Key dumps it behind the net for, for Neal. My hand is getting tired, folks, so I apologize if I miss anything. You think with an attempted shot that was blocked by Heather. Heather will play behind the net now. Centering pass for Keith, but it does not get to him. Played around the boards. A good job by Joel there in muscling the puck out, and he will advance it into the neutral zone. But great back checking there by Lindsay and breaking up Joel's rush. Neil Moser now with the puck. Shot saved by Dana, and he will cover it up. So the Funks continuing to put shots on net here. They do not want to lose this game or have it remain a tie. But Dana is playing outstandingly for the ball gags and Dana is winning this game for them. Absolutely. Especially in that first but, but especially in the first yeah. period when the Funks had 15 whole shots on net. Dana stood tall and was able to keep his team alive. Heather tries to dump it deep, cannot do so. Goes to Star Princess. Star Princess advancing the puck now. Poked aside by the ball gags. It goes to Lindsay. She will kick it deep. Goes to Heather. She will hit it along the boards, but goes back to Lindsay. Good job there by Lindsay in preventing uh, the ball gags from getting a pass off. Along the boards, the attempted centering pass is broken up. It will trickle out of the zone. Molly could not get there in time. She's able to dump it back in though. It goes to Keith, Keith with a shot, but it was deflected enough to slow its momentum and Dana's able to cover it up. Yeah, the clock will stop under a minute, folks. How much time is left? Almost a minute, it's getting there, according to the time on the camera. If it is, if, if it's still tied at the end of regulation, folks, it will remain a tie. There are no OT or shootouts in the regular season. The playoffs is another matter, but in the regular season, ties end in ties. Shot goes wide. Tom will play it up. Plays it up to Mara. Mara to Keith. Keith with a chance. Shot and a save by Dana. It trickles out, though. And 48 seconds left. The clock will stop. Hey, hey. 
And the ball gags choosing to use their timeout in this situation. Which is probably a good idea, I imagine. So Funkmaster having a conference. Keith Ingram deciding what D&D character he should roll during his next session. He's like, guys, should I roll Barbarian or Wizard? I like the Barbarian strength, but how can I turn down ultimate arcane power? Ballgags making fun of Keith for playing D&D. And with that, the timeout is over. So Dana will get situated. Tom is already situated. It's a lonely job being a goaltender oh, yeah. when the faceoff's in the other zone. Just, just a man and his thoughts. But Dana is not alone. He's got a lot of company. But he hopes that changes shortly. Faceoff will actually happen on the other side. How did they determine that? Do they remember? It depends on where the shot comes okay. from. Yeah, they yeah. remember that was from Oh yeah, it was from over there. Yep. So face off happening shortly. And Kelly has dropped it. One forward by the ball gags. Greg was tripped up a little bit there, but not enough to lose his balance completely. Greg with the long shot, but it's stopped by Star Princess. And he will advance it. Shot! Goes through the crease, but does not get to Dana. Keith Ingram now with the puck. Yep, gonna try and wrap around the Keith Ingram special, but it is poked out by the ball gags. Josh with in pursuit, but not able to get it past Rob. Keith's shot goes high. It might have been deflected, I'm not sure. Six seconds in the in the game. with a chance. No, it's blocked by the ball gags. Another shot attempt, but it comes after the buzzer. That'll do it, folks. A 3-3 tie. Most of the games we've taken this season have been ties. This might be, this, there might be a curse. There might be a curse of if you're a future game. Maybe so. It's not my fault, folks. It's not my fault. I just, I tape the games. I have no bearing on the outcome. Seven in favor of Funk, so Funk once again out shooting the ball gags, but it will end in a 3-3 tie, ladies and gentlemen. Jess, what did you see this game that impressed you the most? Well, I saw a lot more offense from Funk than I think that they, uh, they haven't had the past couple games. Uh, and uh, I was actually really impressed with the ball gags, too. They showed that they are a legit pro team. Absolutely. They have people here. Yep, when their roster yeah. shows up. Yeah. They are competitive, yeah. as you saw today, folks. That'll do it for this broadcast. I've been your host, Jason Stitcher. Thank you to Jessica yeah. Nayrod for joining me on Color Commentary. Thank you for joining us, folks. That'll do it for today for the feature games. This period of play sponsored by Dungeons & Dragons, <laughs> Keith Ingram's favorite game. See you later.